Good morning, welcome to Nature Talks and I'm Mark Dixon and just had a very interesting find this morning. So this is a termite mound that we've got on our property and for the last two weeks we've noticed some bees have um, colonized it. This morning I've just come in walking down the driveway and our dogs have got super excited. They picked up the scent of something and then I noticed that it's been opened. So what's happened is a honey badger must have come through during the um, night and raided this. So having walked past here yesterday late afternoon uh, for our afternoon walk, uh, it was um, all still intact. I'm just going to try get a look down there. No, I'm going to need some lighting, but you know, some nice fresh honeycomb um, down at the bottom of the hole. Um, you can have a look over here. Here you've got um, the scratch marks um, of the claws scratching over there so when we take a close-up look here you can still see in the comb you've got the bee larvae um, in the cone here and you know that's what the honey badger would have been after and just having a look at um, after it's broken in it's obviously extracted the the comb and then it's dragged it's the comb through the grass here and onto our driveway um, and then it had a section there which it's been feeding on. So here you can see this section um, it's obviously chewed and raked through that you can see if you look carefully you can see where some claw marks could have been coming through. So another little interesting um, observation here keep on hearing this little flapping in the um, thicket just um, near the termite mound here and it's actually a honey guide with the honey guide coming in while I was busy inspecting the the hive um, we decided to set up a camera to see if we can capture it and while we've been waiting for it to come in it's been very interesting so we've had a scaly throated honey guide come in but what we've also had is we've discovered three different honey guides coming in from different sectors. So one from the southwest of the property, one from in the east, and then one from the northeast of the property. And they all come in and perch on a star apple just overlooking the uh, hive. And then another species that's coming in and, and making the most of this opportunity is the forktail dronga. So it's um, coming in and hawking the bees. Quite a few bees have returned now. It's um, in the last half an hour and they're obviously um, warming up as the sun's come out. But yeah, we hopefully the camera that we've set up will pick up some of the um, honey guides coming in. They're busy taking, um, those that don't know, honey guides are the, um, they can actually digest wax and um, so we've observed two of them taking um, sections of wax back and big sections of wax. Living on a rural property which borders the Garden Route National Park we decided to set up a trap camera to see if the badgers would return for a second evening. Setting up the trap cameras um, paid off dividends and unexpectedly we actually had a pair of honey badgers come in where we, we had thought it had only been one. So a pair came in and from the both the first and the second night of having the trap cameras out, so they returned for two nights, we managed to identify it as a male-female pair. On the first night um, they arrived at the termite mound um, together and the female went down, started excavating out some fresh honeycomb from the swarm while the male waited. And, and this is when we started noticing something very distinctive. So the male, both the eyes um, were reflective and when the female came out um, we could see that her right eye uh, didn't reflect the flash from the camera um, indicating some eye damage. The male in particular showed um, big hesitation towards the camera and was very very wary of it inspecting it but they both fed and after 20 minutes they left the site. 
On the second night of the camera being up, um, they returned again, but this time the female came on her own and she went down, did quite a lot of excavation, um, obviously getting some new honeycomb, and it's actually what, lovely watching her come out, look at those little feet. She gets some comb, looks around, bit of disturbance with the bees, but she sits down and feeds, and every now and then looking off um, to the side, and we suspect that's when she's um, just busy checking out for the, the male, seeing if he's going to come and uh, join her. But she's managed to um, harvest quite a bit of comb, and sitting down there, extracting the honey and the, the larvae. And you can see very clearly there, her right eye not reflecting the flash of the camera, and a little bit of concern. And then she's had enough, and she goes off, and the male comes in a couple of minutes later, still very, very cautious of the camera, comes and inspects it. Um, so the, the camera's mounted on a wooden base, and um, there's obviously some sense on there. But he's here to feed, and he heads on down into the um, the, the termite mound. It's a, it almost is like a burrow now, and um, he also gets himself a, a meal. The female returns and watches. So he's down there for some while and watches this. He comes out, and the bees have been active, and he's obviously been stung and trying to get them. The female then moves off, and... Um, the male decides, let's just give it one more bash, despite the bees. And after another attempt, here you see he's really been stung, has a look, evaluates it, decides, no, that's it. And that was the last time they were at the site. Reviewing the footage, we were interested to know two things. First of all, had this pair visited the property before? And secondly, um, was the female's eye damage from a past injury or through these activities. Going through some archival trap camera um, records, I was super excited to find a um, recording from June 2018 of a pair of uh, honey badgers on the property. Both of them had come in to feed from a carcass of a bush buck which had been killed by a caracal and once again um, we had the two individuals, one with um, what appears to be a damaged right eye, not reflecting um, through the camera. It's really exciting knowing that we've got a pair of badgers that are coming and using the property, have been doing so for two years, and hopefully they'll do so for many more. I hope you've enjoyed watching this interesting video on the honey badgers feeding, and I invite you to watch more of Nature Talks uh, with me, Mark Dixon, as I share some of what I saw in the wild.